Hello everyone, welcome back to my video channel and this video is about uh, components of food. Okay, so in, uh, in components of food, we know that we have carbohydrates, fats, proteins, minerals, water, roughages and vitamins, right? So in the previous video, I was discussed the carbohydrates and uh, carbohydrates and uh, fats as a part one video now uh, in i as a in part two video i have discussed the proteins minerals and uh, vitamins now in this video we will discuss the rest of the component of the food that is water and roughages now uh, we will uh, move on to the another uh, component that is food uh, water another component of the food that is water actually water is not considered uh, as a food uh, because it doesn't give energy like uh, like that of carbohydrates fats uh, like uh, building protein building body tissues like proteins so that's why this is not considered as a food but however the water is an essential part of man's diet because it helps in preparing the food for the assimilation uh, by the body so so then what is water then so water uh, as we know water basic if you have to say basic thing about the water water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen right it's h2o so <clears throat> water h2o it is ba basically composed of hydrogen and oxygen um, and uh, this water uh, about uh, uh, two third of a man's body weight is the water in the tissues of his body okay and water plays an important role in a large number of process like uh, digestion transport and helps in regulation of body temperature and we also know that water is a universal solvent uh, because uh, it, it, uh, the what uh, it is uh, most of the items are going to dissolve in the water so water is the universal solvent for all the salts in the body and it is medium uh, which all the chemical reactions going to take place in the body this is the medium the water is the medium okay so water uh, when we have water <coughs> so that chemical reactions are going to take place and um, uh, the water is a good solvent so it is uh, so it dissolves the food uh, nutrients uh, which can be uh, absorbed and digested by the body and water acts as a solvent for transporting dissolved food materials from the digestive tract to the uh, blood and water also dissolves the water uh, based materials of our body and hence provides a good medium for excretion uh, excreting the body waste materials like nitrogenous wastes and <clears throat> the water plays an important uh, role uh, in regulating the body temperature uh, like the process of sweating and operations like that okay and um, so we can say this uh, we can survive without water uh, when, uh, for a very short uh, time uh, so uh, uh, short time without water the body cells cannot function and they undergo uh, die the cells are going to die without the water so but uh, the point that you have to make uh, make a note on here is that yes water is essential uh, for our body but uh, you shouldn't uh, like take excess water or you shouldn't take less water so take according to the uh, body requirement the minimum they are saying that we have we have to take about uh, 5 liters per day but uh, uh, as a, what I would like to mention is like uh, take a water so when your body requests when you uh, body wants to drink the water that time you drink the water don't unnecessarily over drink the water because that will give uh, a kind of uh, pressure uh, to the kidneys the kidneys will um, uh, what I mean is that when you drink more water the, the kidney is going to filter it more and you are going to give more work more pressure like this uh, to the kidney so that this is a uh, kidney will always in, uh, involved in, uh, in filtering the water so uh, and that will uh, damage uh, a kind of pressure to the kidney so uh, and it is also when body is doesn't require water then don't drink the water enough water so when body is really needs water when you really needed water that time you drink the enough water so it's uh, that is the very important point that you have to remember then now we will move on to the another uh, uh, coming to the sources of uh, uh, water uh, in our body so um, so this water the amount of water needed by body depends upon uh, age type of work and the climate so uh, our body gets a lot of water from many of the food items because by food items itself we are going to get the uh, water content right so uh, so while uh, while we are drinking water so think about it but you can drink enough water when body uh, really needs so for example uh, like fruits vegetables meat fish gives a lot of water to our body and most of the water needed by our body however comes from the plain drinking water like uh, through tea coffee milk etc uh, and some of the water in our body comes as as by byproduct of the oxidation of the glucose during the digestion of the food okay 
So, in fact, the one molecule of glucose on oxidation, uh, oxidation in the body uh, produces a six molecules of water. Okay, so that's about the sources of water. We will move on to the another component of the food that is roughages. See, these roughages are very important for our diet. Uh, it should be present in our diet. It is very, very essential uh, because. <clears throat> For proper digestion, for the proper uh, metabolic function has to occur, the roughages are very important. So, first we will look at what are these roughages then. So, roughages is a dietary fiber, it is a dietary fiber which is edible but indigestible uh, portion of the plant foods such as uh, whole grain, nuts, seeds, legumes, fruits and vegetables. So, th those actually forms the roughages, okay. okay? <clears throat> Roughages that gives the fiber, dietary fiber they will provide, uh, the roughages are edible but they are indigestible part of the uh, plant foods uh, like whole grains, nuts, seeds, legumes, fruits and vegetables. Those actually forms a roughage, okay. <clears throat> So, what is the function of the rough face? Rough face will, ha rough face will aid in the digestion of food and prevents uh, constipation and it is also important, uh, uh, important for our uh, gut bacteria. So, we know that there are uh, different types of bacteria. Okay? There are some of harmful bacteria and some of uh, uh, beneficial bacteria. So, the, the beneficial bacteria for those bacteria, uh, these rough faces are very important. And this uh, rough face is going to increase the bulk, bulkiness of the food and uh, that in turn helps in the announcement of the uh, bowel movement. Uh, and uh, uh, the rough face mainly consists of the indigestible plant carbohydrates like uh, uh, cellulose. So coming to the examples or uh, sources of those uh, rough faces are like uh, by through cereals uh, like uh, oatmeal, bran flakes, okay and uh, through vegetables like uh, veg uh, spinach, broccoli and carrots and uh, the legumes uh, like lentils um, and kidney beans, uh, grains like uh, wheat bran and barley, brown rice uh, uh, that will provide the roughages and fruits like pear, apple, banana, strawberries, oranges and then <clears throat> dried fruits like raisins, apricots, dates and plume are gives the, are the some of the sources of uh, roughages. Nuts and seeds like peanuts and walnuts are the some of the sources of the uh, roughages. So, uh, so we got to know that what are these roughages. So, uh, roughages again based on the solubility they have been divided uh, into two categories that is the first one is soluble fibers and insoluble fibers. The first one is soluble fibers. Insoluble fibers uh, are those, uh, the, 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 those that are dissolved in water easily and make a gel like substance in the stomach okay those comes under the soluble fibers. And what are the function they help in controlling the blood sugar levels and also lowers the cholesterol level. And these fibers also provide some extent of calories as well. So they will add the calories uh, uh, to our body. And the food items which can be good source of soluble fibers are beans, fruits, oats, nuts and fruits such as apple, berries, citrus fruits and pe pe pears are the some of the soluble fibers. So here are the soluble fibers which are going to dissolve in water and they make a gel like substance inside the stomach. And next one is insoluble fibers. Here, insoluble fibers, uh, these uh, these fibers do not dissolve throughout the alimentary canal and passes out intact. They are not going to dissolve in water. Okay, they, they just passes out uh, uh, as like that. Okay, and these are uh, bulky fibers that helps in the management of the participation. So, they, uh, so then, what are the function of these in, uh, insoluble fibers? These insoluble fibers actually adds the uh, bulky means some kind of uh, uh, mass or some kind of uh, like bulb like okay bulky like. Uh, Mm, uh, thing to the food so that helps in the management of the constipation and diarrhea so <clears throat> and uh, yes, yes soluble fibers provides the calories but these will not provide any calories to the individuals so coming to the sources of insoluble fibers are nuts whole grains food vegetables such as carrots and celery and tomatoes are the uh, in, uh, example for insoluble fibers coming to the functions what are the functions here uh, what are the functions of the fibers? The functions of the fibers are uh, mm, which helps in aids in constipation, helps in controlling the body weight and re uh, reduces the risk of heart diseases. Okay, these are some of the functions. So this video, the, uh, okay, this uh, that's about the um, component of uh, food. So I completed the total, uh, the components of food that is carbohydrates, fats, proteins, minerals, water, roughages and vitamins, the complete uh, components of the food. I hope this much is enough uh, for the uh, components of food. So write, uh, uh, take the information, study well and write the examination well, okay. So I am hoping that this video is helpful for you all. So if this is, this video helps you, please uh, hit a like button and please do share and uh, thank you everyone.